Hi Crab Cakes, I'm Emil Hanault and this is the Big Crab Cake Channel. Today we're going to show you our secret family recipe for Maryland style crab cakes. Stick around because these are fantastic. We start off our recipe with one pound of jumbo lump crab meat, hand-picked on the shores of the Chesapeake Bay. It comes in a white plastic container and is the freshest, best tasting crab meat. We're going to need a medium sized bowl and a small bowl. The ingredients include 20 saltine crackers, a half a cup of mayonnaise, one large egg, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, one half teaspoon of hot sauce, and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. So let's get started. In a small bowl, we mix the egg, the mayonnaise, the mustard, the hot sauce, and the Worcestershire sauce. Let's whisk them together. It takes about a minute, but you want to get it nice and smooth and fully mixed. Let's set that aside. Now we have to prepare the saltine crackers. We need to have them finely crushed. We can do this with a Ziploc bag and our hands. But the flat side of a tenderizing mallet or a rolling pin will do a good job too. Now, in a medium bowl, add the cracker crumbs and the Old Bay seasoning. I like to mix with a wooden spoon. Next, we add our jumbo lump crab meat. It comes in big lumps and they're easily broken apart. No wooden spoon here. We're going to use our hands. Let's mix this together well. Now, we're going to gently fold in our mixture. Like before, we want to be very delicate with these lumps. No wooden spoon here either. Again, we're just going to use our hands. Mix it thoroughly, but no need to overmix. Let's cover it and refrigerate it for at least an hour. Let's get that cast iron skillet on the stove. Cast iron is always great for frying and creates a nice even heat. Here's our mixture. After an hour in the refrigerator, it's much more moldable and will hold together well when cooking. Let's set our flame for a medium-high heat. For cooking oil, we're going to use ghee. Ghee is a South Asian or Indian clarified butter made by separating butter fat from the milk solids and water in the butter. Once separated, ghee has a much higher flash point, which means you can cook at a higher temperature without scorching it. We're going to heat the oil until it's shimmering. A spritz of water lets us know it's ready. Our mixture can be divided into eight one-third cup mounds or just grab small handfuls. Pack them together into patties about one and a half inches thick. Now that we've formed our crab cakes, we're gonna add them. Setting them in at an angle away from us to avoid spatter. I'm gonna cook them over the medium heat for about three minutes for each side until they have a deeply golden brown color and are heated all the way through. The total cooking time is about six minutes, but we're going to speed it up here. We transfer our crab cakes to a mesh wire rack.
It's time to plate them. For a little color, let's add a Maryland crab. This is a Maryland blue crab that's been steamed. Maryland blue crabs are green with blue tips on their fins and they turn red when they've been steamed. Don't these look great? Mm. Now that's a good crab cake. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time on the Big Crab Cake Channel. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.